hope I don't faint. That is not approved by the FDA. Okay, it's been a few hours since I got the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine, and the only symptoms that I'm really feeling are. <laughs> everybody welcome back to another vlog happy new year yeah. it is january 4th i kind of took a break from vlogging a little bit around like the christmas time so like christmas week to new year i spent a lot of time with my family and family friends so i just wanted to fully relax and just decompress and kind of disconnect from social media because i didn't really post that much during that time but now it's 2021 we're back. I'm just gonna vlog a day in my life. So I did a Pilates class earlier this morning um, and it is, what time is it? It is 12 at 10 and I'm actually about to go get my COVID vaccine. So I'm getting the Pfizer vaccine um, and I'm about to leave the house to go get it. I think it's a drive through like system. So I'm gonna get the first dose of that and the reason why I'm eligible to get it is because I'm part of the state program and my grandmother lives with me. So I'm part of the state program to help take care of her and she's an at-risk individual. So I'm gonna go right now. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't faint. No, I'm fine. I'm usually totally fine with vaccines but it is a little nerve-wracking going. Um, but I'm excited to get this vaccine. <laughs> Okay, I'm waiting in line. <laughs> Well, okay, apparently it's not in the car, so I have to get out, and it's a sprinkling right now. And I did not bring a raincoat, but that's okay. So I just parked, and then I'm gonna go ahead and walk inside. I guess I'm just gonna stay in line. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Roll this up to like clean it first. So how are you feeling? I'm okay, I'm feeling good. Got to mentally prepare myself, yeah. Fine. Be over in like 10 seconds. All right. Yeah, it's it's a pretty small. Yes. That's it. You're done. Oh, perfect. All right, and you're all done. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And so now you just gonna take your paper okay. with you, and then um, go see the lady in the yellow vest. She'll help you schedule our show direct you to the other line and okay. we'll schedule your next appointment. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. So, it was interesting. So I got there, my appointment was at 12.35. I'm just gonna like talk about a little bit of my experience while I get ready to go back home because I have a meeting that I'm super late for. Um, but I had an appointment set and I got an email from the state and I'm an eligible um, IHSS provider. So I'm eligible for the vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine that I got is not approved by the FDA, but the FDA is allowing the vaccine to be used in emergency uses. So it's not FDA approved, but you can get it. So it's ultimately up to you whether or not you want to get it. So I stood in line. Basically, they just checked me out. I sat down. Um, my, the nurse, I think she was a nurse that was vaccinating, was super sweet, super quick. It's only 0.3 milliliters. So it's like really, really small, probably like five seconds. And then I just got up basically gave me some water and stuff and they just let you sit down and monitor you just in case you have an allergic reaction and I was totally fine so now I'm heading home but that's just like a little bit about the experience that I had I did have to wait in line for a really long time my appointment was 
12.35 and I would say that I got in line at 12.40 and I didn't get my injection until 2 o'clock. So something to keep in mind, maybe get there early, just make sure you have time blocked off <laughs> just in case. So yeah, now I'm going to head home and have my meeting and how do I get something to eat because I'm, I didn't have lunch, I just realized that. <laughs> My uh, post-vaccine reward, instant ramen. Are we surprised? No. Okay, it's been a few hours since I got the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. And the only symptoms that I'm really feeling are just soreness. Like, I kind of just feel like I've been punched in the arm. But, like, by a little kid. Like, like a small <laughs> fist. But, like, kind of hard where you could bruise, but, like... You probably wouldn't bruise, it just is like sore. So those are the only symptoms I'm feeling so far. I did read online that most people will experience more symptoms in like after the second dose. So after the second dose, I'm expecting to potentially feel like a little bit worse, but that doesn't mean that, you know, just to clear up any sort of misinformation, when you feel sick after the second dose, that doesn't mean that you have COVID. It just means that your body is reacting to the mRNA and creating the antibodies for the spiked protein. It just means your body is going through the motions of creating the antibodies for the spiked protein of COVID-19. So it doesn't mean you're getting sick. Doesn't mean the vaccine is going to affect your genome because it doesn't. It doesn't even go into the nucleus of the cell. I feel like a lot of people like to throw around terms, especially when they don't have the bio background. Honestly, if you guys are confused, do your own research. A lot of this stuff is scientific fact. So you can look up, you know, the diagram of a mammalian cell, which is what humans have. You can learn about all the different parts of the cell and their different functions. And then you can kind of understand the mRNA vaccine a little bit easier and then you'd probably have to go look into viro virology a little bit more but do your own research the Pfizer vaccine is not FDA approved but the FDA is allowing people to get it as an emergency like emergency authorization is what it is so so far I feel great I have my next COVID dose on the 25th I just finished getting ready for bed, just finished my night routine, and I'm just going to finish my day off with reading a book. Reading more books was part of my New Year's resolutions plans. Um, I don't have too many, but like one of them was to read more books, so I'm reading, finally reading Bad Blood. My friend Rohan gave me this book almost a year ago, like maybe a week or two before Shelter in Place in 2020. I never read it. I'll probably finish this by the end of the week, I want to say, because um, I'm a pretty fast reader and I get really into books. also got the Barack Obama autobiography book for Christmas. I'm really excited to read that as well. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next one.